Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Gim and welcome back to a new Minecraft 1.20 update news video. So, in the newest snapshot, Amethyst Blocks have a new feature when placed next to skull sensors. This new feature is called Vibration Resonance. If a skull center sensor receives a vibration, for example, walking by it, a block of amethyst placed adjacent to the skull sensor will re-emit the same frequency. So, for example, let's say you walk near the, near the skull sensor, you can see it lights up. Now, this amethyst block will receive this singing sound and re-emit it somewhere else. So, using this feature, you can create what in a sort of term is actually wireless redstone. So, you can do this by placing another skull sensor, I guess, here. And another amethyst block next to it. A few blocks, I'm gonna do it again. And now, take a look at what should happen. Here, fully, of course. Okay. Let's get back to the start. And you should notice that one of these blocks light up. The things, and... Looks like I was a bit too far for that happen, so let's check on the contraption I need higher up. So you'll notice I trigger the first skull sensor. And this triggers the second skull sensor, which releases the signal to this amethyst block. And then this amethyst block gives a signal to this skull sensor. And you can keep the train going over incredibly long distances. So for example, I can place a sensor right here, a block here, another sensor here, a block here, one more here, and the block here. And that can essentially keep the train going indefinitely. As you can see, all is split up. Let's do it again. Split up and the train will just keep on going to the end. Also, a new block has actually been added which can work with redstone itself. It's called the calibrated fault sensor and it's crafted like this. Let's switch it up. It's crafted with three amateur shards and a skull sensor in the middle. And the way it works is rather interesting. So, for example, let's get away from that so the noise doesn't bother us. You place this skull sensor down and to it you can attach some bread to dust. You can see it's, light, it's, it's lighting up. Which can be interesting for this mechanic. So let's look for a redstone arm. There we go. And you can place it at the end of this redstone signal. Let's step away. And when you walk near it, you can see it does light up the redstone. And that redstone in turn lights up the redstone lamp. I believe it depends on the strength of the signal that the calibrated red that the calibrated skull sensor receives. So you close enough as you can see it lights up so it's a human or mob vector. Let's spawn in a zombie. A zombie. I believe. <laughs> ah, we're in peaceful mode, but as you can see, when I spawn him in, the sound he makes does trigger the skull sensor and, well, lights the rest of map. So it's a pretty effective mob sensor, even in sub single player survival, it's rather useful. As far as I know, the skull sensor it receives vibrations, right? And, well, these vibrations come from sound, and different sound produces different levels of vibrations. So depending on the levels of vibrations, that will depend on the output. For example, how far I can output a response signal. So let's give that a test. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, response can move 16, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the rest on lamp and interior it should light up. And as you can see, it doesn't because the redstone signal of reproduced by walking just isn't enough. Our signal goes up to here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 redstone blocks. Well, 9 blocks, I should say. So yeah, the, all does depend on the signal that this receives. So, in theory, you can detect different things using the calibrated call sensor. Anyway, that's all that's new for Restone in this snapshot. I hope you found this 
video informative in some way if you did. Please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and for more news content, I'll see you later. Bye for now.